All right, guys, welcome to our life in the Philippines. Um, this is a another one of those distribution videos, but I'm gonna do this one from a little different angle, and I'm gonna try to point out certain things that are um, coming. I have said a long time, shutdown is going to be costly. And what do I mean by that? I mean it's going to be costly because of lack of finances, lack of economy, people are going starving. And here is a little clip and survey done by a news bureau. Millions of Filipino families experience hunger as the Philippines grapple with a COVID-19 pandemic. A poll conducted by the social weather stations from May 4 to 10 shows 16.7% or around 4.2 million families nationwide went hungry due to lack of available food in the past three months. That includes 3.5 million families who experienced moderate hunger and nearly 700,000 families who experienced severe hunger. And uh, th this survey was done in early May or mid-May, uh, about two months into this uh, pandemic. And uh, now we have gone two months further into it. And we haven't seen any uh, relief directly from uh, the government to these families. Uh, we have tried to do our, our uh, best here to support them uh, with the little means we got. Uh, but without our partners and, and friends over in San Antonio, uh, Texas, this would have uh, been uh, completely impossible. The uh, very meaning uh, and the reason Wings was founded is to create what's called a rapid response, recovery, and resilience system. And their slogan is taking catastrophe response to the next level and beyond to uh, save more lives. All right, let's take a few minutes here and uh, just listen in to uh, the team, our Filipino workers and Umberto, as they're out on the street. Hey, Leonor Patio. kilos of rice and one Alaska milk. Thank you. March of 2020. So you have a baby, you have twins. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay, so you get two for the twins, three kilos of rice, and one uh, for the baby, zero six. So the other day, um, when I got home, I had to go out and run some air and go to the bank and do a few other things. And when I come home, um, I find at least 50 people outside my door asking for a little bit of rice to eat. And it's very clear. And uh, I'm going to go a little deeper into this a little later in the video because I think this phenomena is not just going to happen here in the Philippines I think it's going to be a worldwide thing and I think especially it's going to hit 
uh, the third world country. So I want to wake awareness of uh, what this is, uh, shutdown has cost and what it will cost in the future. So that's kind of what, uh, what I want to raise the awareness of here. And uh, um, Wings is also on the path of trying to resolve some of these issues. This is a little bit how we do it. Um, the team is going out today with another uh, round of applications, actually. And uh, right here. there we got them, quite a few. So that has to go out today. Well, no, as, as, as far as that goes, um, we have, how much do we get left? One, two, three, four, five, six, that's 180, uh, roughly 200. So we got about 100 out yesterday then, right? 100 milk, uh, and that was about, what, 60 families, roughly? Roughly 60, 60 families. Roughly 60, 65 so families. That was completed yesterday um, with a little bit of rice and a little bit of other things. So basically what they are doing here, they are uh, making one kilo bags, two kilo bags, and um, uh, deciding uh, whether they are four people or less or four people or more, they get, they get a little bit more. You know, when you have ten people in a family, two kilo of rice is less than a day. Uh, the big influence is that they have elderly, we give them a little bit more. Right, yeah, for the seniors, yeah. All right, this is a daunting task, guys, but it is, um, it is um, inspiring at the same time, right? Yes, very much so. It's rewarding. You should see some of these people, their faces, when you're helping them out. I've seen people teary up, I've seen people, they are, they don't even say thank you, they're just like... Crying. You know, they're, they're, teary-eyed. They're teary-eyed, and it, it, is, it is a sad situation, not just here, but around the world, but in places like this, they're suffering very much more because they have no job, no possibility of job, and no help, really. Right. And the, 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 the people that do get help, they don't get enough. I uh, know it's, it's it's a crazy it's a crazy situation for sure. So we're we're gonna try to try to at least reduce a little bit of the suffering as far as food food and nutrients goes. We do what we can, and uh, since I'm so old, I can't go out, but I'm I'm here anyway. <laughs> I'm uh, glad you are because without your help, Chef, I hope people do realize that without the effort of people of the third age, a lot of these things would never happen. Because right. well, we are the yeah. ones that we are the ones that know how to put things together and know how to make things happen. And without the assistance of people that have that capability, uh, you know, the Facebook isn't going to solve the, the famine. Right. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Facebook, Facebook is good for, for uh, certain purposes. Uh, back home, I know Mike is uh, driving the efforts uh, yes. to some degree. I know. And okay, here is like the young people are all on this, and, and you know they're you know they're, they're stuck on Facebook. They're communicating, they're social communication, but. It's in not, nothing personal and nothing interpersonal, and to be able to actually, 
know, yes, it's a great opportunity, it's a great platform to raise funds, to raise awareness, to do all these things, but you got to be physical, you got to be actually in the material. Yeah, you, you got to be hands-on. you got to be hands-on to get If you're not hands-on, it's not working. It's not going to happen. Yeah. You know, you can That's talk true, about right? it all you want, but hands-on is going to solve it. We have the I'm very happy to do this. All the people oh, here. Yeah, Mark, Edwin, we are actually, we are actually waiting for uh, pa Paco to show up at some point today. He's going to assist them with, with the uh, distribution of, distribution of form, forms and other things. All right, there was a little bit about what's going on with our team and our helpers, and I will get into that a little bit more. You wear your face mask? How many? How many times? And all of you, why don't have a cloth and face mask? You, why don't have a cloth? And a face mask. You too. Why you don't have a clothes and a face mask? You wear your clothes and the face mask. And your baby, you wear your face mask. The child. <laughs> Mark is is out here, and I just wanted you to uh, see this little snippet. Uh, it might sound rough to them, but uh, that's one thing here that. Uh, people have a hard time to follow their children are out in the street even though uh, the rules are they shouldn't really be out. Anyway let's get into the um, teamwork that goes into this. Uh, uh, we have a, a great team that has been helping us uh, through uh, most of the time here since, since we started doing this in uh, first week in April I think it was. And uh, they've been really dedicated. They uh, uh, never fails. You let them know we have uh, material has arrived. You can take it and you can bring it out. They take it and they go and bring out. Now, let's get into the uh, thing that I wanted to uh, address a little bit. Economic shutdown will create a huge, huge starvation a few months from now. UNICEF uh, had a prognosis that uh, they expect that possibly as many as 350 to 400 million um, uh, people will go into severe starvation. And uh, we know that there is countries uh, like uh, Yemen and, and other countries that they had a hard time really before this uh, started. And the numbers um, that I follow for that particular country is not looking very, very uh, promising. Uh, there is millions. Now, we can all uh, join hands and uh, do our best to to uh, do this, but uh, it's a daunting task, requires tons of, of uh, funding, and we know that UNICEF is doing a lot of work and other organizations, uh, uh, but we, WINGS, and us here in the Philippines and the team we have together, we are going to do our absolute best to at least make sure that some people get one or two meals to eat on a daily basis. Um, we're also going to try to do some education, let people understand that um, it's important to drink water, some vitamins and some other things that is going to come as well. Alright, so the crew is back here. And uh, the reason they are back, I don't know if you can see out that window, but we have a minor little storm going by. 
and the rain is uh, coming down horizontal rather than vertical. So we had to interrupt it. Uh, it is about 5 p.m., 5.30. We had to interrupt. We had one more little street to do today, uh, another 20 or so. Uh, but unfortunately, we had to pull back. Hello, crew. That's for the crew. Yeah. So. Thanks for making it all happen. Yeah, they say thanks for making it all happen. Right. We have former chairman here, and Mark, Edwin, Umberto. They're all back. So. Waiting for the storm to get over, I guess. And then they are. Uh, they're doing their uh, packing therapy here. Uh, packing two kilo bags of rice. And that's what they do. While we wait for this rain to get over, if it does get over, we might get out again. And if it doesn't, we continue in the morning. Yeah, all right. So we got totally, totally rained out last night. and. Uh, uh, had to uh, send a team out early this morning, Sunday morning, and uh, they are uh, have completed that and brought me home. They brought the camera, they brought the video. I'm doing an edit, and uh, again, you know, what I hear from from people is, thank you. Some are tear-eyed, some are very, very grateful, uh, and. Uh, they they all send the best wishes home back home to San Antonio, Texas, and to our wings team over there. And we thank God for everything you have done for us. All right, guys, that was a short little video uh, um, around what's going on, what's happening, and stay tuned for some more videos. And uh, we will definitely, definitely uh, put out some more videos. And again, thank you, Wings CRS, and God bless you. Don't click that button unless, of course, you hit the subscribe button, and then you can move on. And while you're down there, hit the notification button as well. And if you leave a like or a comment, we will personally respond to you on all or any requests you might have. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you again at the next video.